Dante Ramos and I'm here with Where's the Buzz right here in New York City for Jordan Peele's premiere of Us. The horror film is crazy. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm excited. Right. So I have a question, of course. I watched the film and I saw a lot of symbolism. So I want to ask you some symbols and what they mean to you. Okay, but you ready? I'm more curious of what they mean to you. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right, rabbits? Oh, but... You go first. Me go... Well, that spoils it if I do. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm the one that made the rabbits? movie. Rabbits? I think. What do my rabbits mean to you? Carrots. That's the one piece of symbolism I did not mean to <laughs> okay. No carrot. Met this is not a metaphor about carrots or vegetables. What else? Um, paper. Paper. Cuts. Paper. Oh, what? Oh, what does that mean to me? Yes. Um. Well, that's just. That's. There are no paper cuts in this film. This is not a paper <laughs> cut. Um. There's paper being cut. But there is not, you, I mean, you see, I'm, I'm avoiding. You surely are. Because, you know, here's the thing. If I tell you what all the images mean, then you won't have the fun of, like, unpacking it and doing all that stuff. And that's the whole point. I was um, ready for a game. The game is there. The game is live. <laughs> the game is happening. Um, but, no, I, I assure you um, that there are, there are many reasons I have rabbits and, and paper in there. And, and cuts as well. Awesome, congratulations, thank you. I think there's a lot of symbolism within the movie, so I'm gonna ask you some questions of some symbols and tell me what you think they mean, or to you. Okay, scissors. Dangerous weapons. Paper. Ooh, uh, ripping. Um, the soul. Personality. The sun. Pleasure. Rabbits. Cute creatures. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, and my next question for you is, did you enjoy being in a horror film? I feel like for a kid that's really tough to play, how did you jump into that character? It was really fun because, you know, I don't really get to do horror movies or I don't enjoy horror movies, but this has actually made me enjoy a horror movie for a long time. Really? So this is your favorite horror movie of all time? Yes. <laughs> and did you? How did you um, get into character with being into magic and the mask? All of that played into it. How did you feel about doing all of that? Um, Jason is a character like me. Uh, I tend to do stuff or wander off. But Jordan showed me some magic tricks that were really cool. So yeah, I've been doing magic tricks a while. Wait, did you just say you tend to wander off? Yeah, I tend to wander off sometimes. <laughs> Well, I hope you don't wander off tonight. Congratulations on your film. I, uh, congratulations, Evan. I loved it. Thank you. Have a good one. Can I have a hug? Oh, sure. Oh, How did you get into character? This film is very horror-filled. It's complex, and your characters are very complex. How did you dive into that? I just thought about what I would want to see on screen, and I tried to replicate that. And then I just looked at like classic horror films to look at creepy things and just things that like I wouldn't want to see in my closet so yeah. I honestly looked at her what face she was making I would like mirror it because you know she's good at being scary so was it easier hard or annoying to work with each other because that's a lot twins being the same and then being with each other all day every day it was fun she's my best friend so I like to spend time with her and I love that uh, and then my um, last question for you who was your influence you said you watch some classics but who do you really look to uh, as acting actors wise acting I a lot of people for this movie we looked at the shining twins just because they're such a classic but honestly every other actor in this movie was an inspiration just watching them work was just like insane and that was really inspiring so you take this movie as a learning lesson for you while you're on set? For Definitely, sure, yeah. yeah. And anything else coming up for you ladies? Not yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Good luck, thank you so much, congratulations.